What is up, guys, and welcome back to Madden Ratings for Madden 24. Um, this time, we're going to be doing tight ends. We have all of our tight ends right here on this tier list. Um, once again, this is a pre-recorded video. If something changes about this, well, I don't know about it because I'm gone. Well, I'll probably know about it. I just, I'm not going to be able to do much. I'm not going to make videos. I might make a YouTube short here and there, but, like, not much. Either way, you get the point. We're here with tight ends this time, and let's go ahead and get right into this. Um, we'll start... These are in alphabetical order, actually. Austin Hooper, he's like a 74 at this point. I mean, he just isn't that good. He just isn't. He just simply, I mean, I'll give him a 75. How about that? Brock Wright, he's like a 70, even. Maybe a 72. I don't know. He's not that good. Um, you know, they gave up a lot with TJ Hawkinson, which let's go ahead and do that right there. Excuse me. Um, 99, instantly. Don't need anything about it. Cade Otten, he's decent, but he hasn't done a whole lot. Um, I'll put him in like a 77, 76, 76. That looks better. Um, you know, he just hasn't done tons. Same thing with Chigakonkwo. He just hasn't really done much, so you can't give him too much. Um, let's see. Let's get an interesting one in here. Um, Darren Waller. He has fallen off a little bit. At this point, I think he's an 84. He's still that high-end potential. He's just not doing it right now, so I can't give him much more than that. Um, let's see. Who do we have? Uh, CJ Uzoma. He's like a 74, 73 anymore. He just, he isn't very good. Um, he obviously is behind uh, Tyler Conklin, who I would say is only like a 79. He's, he's fine, but he's not elite by any means. But he's very solid. He's just a very solid player. I'll give him an 80, actually. And then, okay, I think this is Jake Ferguson. Him and Peyton Hendershot, I really don't know. Wait, hold on. Irv Smith. Yeah, okay, it's in alphabetical order. So, Jake Ferguson. He's like a 70. Like, he, he just, neither him, honestly, Peyton Hendershot, too. They're just not good. I mean, they're fine. There's nothing special about him, period, at all, anything. Um, Dallas Goddard, I think he's really good. I really do think Dallas Goddard's good. He's probably a top five tight end. If you really count him out, I, there's not many better than him. I'd say he's like a 90, 91, maybe. Mark Andrews is like a 94. He is pretty good. Don't get me wrong. Very solid player. Um, let's do a rookie, Dalton Kincaid really athletically gifted. I mean, this guy's almost a wide receiver, but he's like a pure tight end size. He just doesn't play like a tight end. He plays like a receiver. I expect Buffalo to probably have sets with him and Dawson Knox on the field at both times. And Dawson Knox will be like your, you know, he'll be like on the line, off the line, but like not really at a playing. He's not really an inline tight end. He's just like, he'll be lined up there. But I could see Dalton Kincaid lining up in the slot um, while Knox is in the tight end position. Dalton Kincaid, very solid player. I'll give him like a 75, 76. I'll put him right there. I think that's pretty fair. George Kittle. Um, I'll say like a 98, 97, 98. He's really good. I don't care that last year he wasn't statistically that great. I don't care. He wasn't really used right last year, in my opinion. I think the Niners are kind of wasting him a little bit, honestly. They don't use him a whole lot. They use him a lot as a blocker because he's a really good blocker. But like, oh my gosh, he's such a good receiver. He honestly, in terms of just like ability, natural talent and ability, He's a better tight end than Kelsey. Kelsey just is utilized like a real tight end. I mean, don't get me wrong. Kelsey's great. But just in terms of like actual ability and talent, Kittle might be better. Um, moving on, we'll do Luke Schoonmaker, like a 70 as well. This tight end room for the Cowboys kind of sucks, honestly. Schoonmaker, Schoonmaker, I don't know his name. Um, he was a fine draft pick. I mean, where he was, it was a selection that was fine. But there's just nothing special about him. It's just what he is. TJ Hawkinson is another really good one. I think he's a 95. Um, really close to these two. Not he's better than these two though. Um, I think that's my top five right there. I'm pretty sure, unless I'm missing somebody. Um, let's move on to Kyle Pitts. I think Kyle Pitts is a little overrated. That doesn't mean bad. He's still a good player, but 83 I think's plenty fair. Um, he's not even the best tight end of his draft class. Pat Fryermuth deserves to be about an 85. Um, very solid player. Quickly becoming one of the better tight ends in the league. I think this year he's going to make a big jump. Dawson Knox has been really good um, for the Buffalo Bills, although he's not the best tight end. I mean, he's honestly, he's paid to be Josh Allen's best friend, which is fine. Um, that happens plenty of times. I'd say like an 80 is fair. Um, Hayden Hurst, he's like an 80 as well. These three are just, they kind of are like similar in terms of talent and ability to me. Um, nothing special, but you know, you're definitely not hurting just because they're your tight end one. Um, they're fine. Zach Ertz. He used to be one of the best tight ends in the league. I don't know, I wish he was. He's such a likable dude. I'll give him like an 83. I think that's fair. 
you know, it is what it is. Trey McBride hasn't done a single thing since he got drafted. I'll give him like a 73. That's the best I can do. Um, Noah Fant, he's fine. Once again, another fine. He's kind of a, you know, wish he was better with how high he was drafted and stuff. He's really not that good. Uh, 79 seems to be plenty fair in my opinion. Darnell Washington, I'll do him real quick. He is very interesting. A mountain of a man. Um, literally, he's like the size of a tackle almost. If he had like 20 more pounds, he'd be a tackle. And that's just 20 pounds. Like, that's not much. Like, that's insane. Um, I think as a rookie, he should be rated decently in Madden because of his um, overall. Uh, I mean, his overall ability, excuse me. Is decently because of his overall. That makes sense. Now, um, he, he, can, he can receive very well. He has good hands. He's not the best route runner, but you're not going to be at that size. But his blocking ability, he's already the best blocking tight end in the NFL. Pro- probably already. And that's just because of how freaking huge he is. Um, I'll say he's like a 72 or three. I'll give him that. Um, you know, he's still not a tight end one, probably will never be a tight end one, but in a very good spot to succeed in a team that I feel he fits very well. Honestly, Hendershot and Ferguson, I'm dropping down to like 68s. I don't really think they matter that much. Irv Smith, he hasn't done a whole lot. Lots of upside on him though. He is, oh, where'd he go? I think Cincinnati. He's fine. I'll give him like a 75. I think that's plenty. Hunter Henry, very solid tight end. He's an 85, um, maybe even 86. We'll, we'll say he, he could be just a little higher. Tyler Higby is very solid. I'll give him an 84, I think. That seems fair to me. And Joku is fine. He's like an 80, 81 maybe. I'll give him right here between Pitts and Conklin. Um, let's see, anybody else I really like here? Gesicki's, he, he's okay. He He's like Kittle in a way. I don't. I'm not upset about how like inefficient he was last year because he just wasn't utilized, period. It wasn't there's there's a difference between, oh, you had a bad season and oh, you weren't used. He wasn't used. I'll give him like a 78. I think that's plenty fine. Jawan Johnson, he's like a 77. He's fine, but there's nothing really special about him. He's a super good athlete, but he's really not a tight end. He's he's like a big receiver. Um, too big to play receiver, but not small enough to be a uh, receiver actually. Um and too too small to be a tight end. I don't know what I just said. Wow. Evan Ingram had a really good season. However, I, once again, am not big on pushing guys up just because of one season. I'll give him like an 83. I think that's plenty fair. Um, honestly, maybe a little generous. And then Johnny Smith, like a 77. Nah, not even that. I'm going to give him a 75. Just hasn't been used. Bob Tanyan, such a cool name. Sounds like he's going to like, I don't know, go eat a piece of a meat and then just like chop wood or something. I don't know. It sounds like a cool name. I don't know. It sounds ridiculous. Either way, uh, 76, Michael Mayer, um, the Crimson Chin himself, as a rookie, I'll give him like a 75, a really solid tight end prospect for sure. Um, you know, I'll give him up here with Dalton Kincaid. I think they both should be like 76s actually. Uh, Luke Musgrave, another rookie, had a really weird college career, only had 11 catches last year. Had a total of like 40 catches through his entire college career. Lots of injuries, um, but a lot of uh, athletic upside. I think he should be like a 71, 72. That sounds good to me. Tucker Craft, about the same. 72, I think is fair for him. Sam Laporta, drafted a little early before Michael Mayer. Mistake there. Um, talked about that one enough. I'll put him in a 72 as well. I think that's pretty, just, that's pretty fair, putting all those guys in the same tier. Gerald Everett is very solid, a very underrated tight end. He's not great, but he's solid. He's very, very solid. 83. Um, I'm feeling like I need to move something up. I feel like this area is too congested, and I feel like there's somebody that's kind of being a little bit underrated. Um, let's see. I'll move Higby. Like he's he's very consistent, but he's just not like elite by any means. Zach Ertz. I wish he could be better. I'll put Darren Waller in 85. He hasn't played. So there's kind of a double-edged sword with that. The best ability is availability. He does have injury issues. But when he's there, he's one of the better tight ends in the league. I think putting him at 85 is fair. I think it is. Um, Cole Komet had a really good season last year. Let's say he is a 79. Has very much upside to move up from there. Dalton Schultz. Little overrated in my opinion. He was kind of just a safety net for Dak Prescott in Dallas. Fine, but you know that's a lot. What a lot of tight ends are, but that just means you're not really going to stand out. And going to Houston, I feel like he 
will either struggle or be utilized a ton because of having a rookie quarterback and just being, you know, kind of the dependent guy to check down to. Um, I'll give him an 80, and that's about it. Daniel Bellinger had a good rookie season for the Giants, kind of just a safety net as well. He deserves like a 76, I'd say. Where's 76? I think like right here. Durham Smythe, the worst starting tight end in the league. And, I mean, I, I don't, I, he's just irrelevant. He just really isn't relevant, period. Uh, I'll give him like a 70, 71. That's about as good as I can get. I'll put him ahead of Brock Wright for you. There you go. Greg Dulkich had a solid rookie season, a breakout player last year. Um, he deserves like a 77, I think. I think I can give him that. 77 sounds good. Jelani Woods hasn't done a single thing since he's been drafted in a room where he needs to be doing something because, well, let's just be honest, the Colts tight end room is not very good. Um, honestly, I can't really put him into, I don't know if I can put him in the 70s. I'll put him in the 70s. I'll give him a 71. Whatever. Also a contender for worst tight end in the league, starting tight end. Logan Thomas, you know, there, Darren Waller may not be able to play because of his injuries, but Logan Thomas hasn't played like a full year, I don't think, ever. So. He gets a tier rank drop because he also hasn't had elite years like Darren Waller has, but he's definitely going to take some uh, hits because of it. I think he's like a 73. We'll put him at 73. Yeah, that looks good to me. But yeah, this is my tight end tier list. I definitely try to, like, I don't know if y'all pay attention to the Madden rosters, but like TFG's Madden roster, he likes to keep the top end guys kind of like thinner because that makes it different and just like makes you like not have everybody be kind of good. You have some guys who are really good and have some guys who are just fine. And that's how I like this. I definitely think that is a pretty accurate uh, lineup. I feel like that's really good, honestly. Either way, that'll do it for this video. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Leave a comment down below on who you think is the best tight end, the worst tight end, the worst one I ranked, the best one I ranked. I don't know, something you don't like, something you do like, a video recommendation, or I don't know, tell me your favorite food, whatever. I don't care. I'll reply to you probably. Um, but yeah, thank y'all for watching and I'll catch y'all in the next pre-recorded video. Peace.